Hello. Hello everyone, it's Carol with scrap a dap -a -do Crafts. And today we are going to start working on an album. This is the new um, Prima album from Frank Garcia. And it is... Let me take the out of focus off. Okay. A fun album. It's square. And it's magnetized. So it's got a really strong magnet. This puppy just grabs when you let it go. And so you open it up. And on the inside, you've got chipboard waterfall paper pages. And so I thought we would try and see what we could make out of that. It's got a lot of pages on the inside. And there's a lot of room in between the pages. So you can really kind of junk it up. And um, I am going to be using the Prima. They are called the wooden trays. And there's a set of three of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a shadow box on the front. And then we are going to put another one. We're probably only going to use the two smaller ones on the inside because there's plenty of room for it to hold one of those frames on the inside. So we'll see how it turns out. I have a vision in my mind. haven't actually done one. And so we are going to be using the Seaside Cottage from Blue Fern Studios. And everything that I have here is available in the store. And I actually created a category for it. Let me get you a link to that. But it should be quite fun. I'm a little scattered today. Like I said, I've got a sick puppy. Um, he's not been feeling well the last few days and today he um, has started throwing up. Let me make sure the links are open. Okay. There you go. Oh, Jean Marie, I'm sorry you're having such a time. Seems like it's one of those days. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to be using the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Salmon Coral Paint. And we're just going to be um, painting around the edges because most of this we will be um, covering with papers and I am going to start painting the outside I know it's kind of scary when you got a sick puppy so hubby is going to um, come home and grab him up and take him in we've got an appointment for um, 3.30 this afternoon for him. So I probably could have gotten this painted before I came on, but like I said, I've been dealing with poor little Sam not feeling good. He's kind of been being picky about his food. Um, for the last three or four days. And I like this paint because it really does dry quickly. Um, it doesn't take it long at all to dry. So, like I said, we're just going to paint around the edges. And do all of the sides here. Oh, 
all weekend I was dealing with my hubby being homesick. He's got the crud, had the crud. And he's still got it some, but he's back to work. He had taken Thursday and Friday of last week off. And stayed home and... Then we were getting ready for the storm that never was. <laughs> the uh, news was building up the storm. One, one station even said, this will be a storm you'll tell your grandkids about. Well, yeah, we will. We'll talk about how they predicted the storm that was going to be, you know, tropical winds, you know. Hurricane force winds. And, uh, hi, Josie. And, uh, what we got was a nice little breeze that blew some of the leaves off of our trees. And, uh, the. And, and I shouldn't say that because. Thursday was it Thursday they actually had um, a tornado that touched down in Oregon which is you know just the next state down and it did quite a bit of damage so we've got the outside all painted let's go ahead and I know I was thankful it never was but we really got prepared for it I mean, we, we really took them at their word. We stocked up on all our canned goods. I won't have to go shopping for at least another two months. Um, <laughs> and uh, got our, um, our uh, generator all hooked up and ready to go just in case we lost power. I can zoom out a little bit. It is better safe than sorry. I mean, I do like a nice windstorm, you know, with, uh, there we go. You know, see a little bit more of what I'm painting here. You know, there's nothing like a really good storm. But it wasn't. We didn't get anything. Literally, nothing. And they weren't quite sure what to say about what happened because all of their indications was that we were really going to get get hit hard. So, but I'm fully prepared for the next one. I'm going to make sure I get the edges on these two. And then we'll just um, do the same thing on the inside, just paint around the edges. So I spent most of uh, Saturday, I ran and got my mom taken care of and made sure she had everything she needed and that her oxygen was all hooked up and and uh, ready to go in case she lost power that she could just switch over and use the tanks that she had and then Dan's parents um, they winter down in California and so they decided that they were going to try and get out of town before the storm hit so I went over and helped them get their fridge emptied and um, all that kind of stuff and <laughs> got them all ready to go and then came home and battened down our hatches and waited for it to hit. And it never did. I'm not going to worry about it getting a little bit on the edges of these pages because they really won't show. But, um, so that was rather fun. So... 
Now today, we've still got the rains going on. But they're not half bad. I can live with it. You know, we got our generator several years ago. And, um, because sometimes, you know, our winters can be kind of nasty as far as the wind and the rains and, and things like that. And we thought it'd be nice to have it. Well, we, the only time we lost power was last August. Okay. The end of summer. Um, and we were having, um, a wedding shower barbecue for my nephew and his wife here at the house and the winds came in and knocked our tents down and blew out the electricity so we didn't have electricity for the whole day while everyone was here but we still had a, a nice party and it turned out okay and everybody was a good sport about it So, all right, I think I got things pretty well covered here. Like I said, this dries pretty fast, so it shouldn't take too long, as long as you don't really soak it too well. Just make sure you get all the edges. Okay, so I'm going to find a place to set this aside to dry. Did I get the, all of the back? I did. And then, let's see, I think I can set it right back here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the smallest frame. And these are the set of, I carry three Prima wooden trays. And like I said, they come in a set of three, small, medium, and large. And I don't know if you guys remember the coffee um, thing I did, but I took them, stacked them, and, and did a nice three-dimensional thing. Well, on this one, we're just not going to use the big one. We're going to use the two smaller ones. And I'm going to go ahead and paint those as well. I know. It's so fun to watch paint dry, isn't it? Yeah, Linda, we can have some pretty crazy weather here in Washington. You just never know what you're going to get when. But I wouldn't trade living here for anything. The weather is pretty mild for the most part. We don't have extremely hot summers, and we don't have extremely cold winters. We do get a lot of gray. I know um, that would bother some, but it doesn't. It doesn't really bother me too much with the gray. And we're gonna paint the inside but we're going to cover the inside with paper as well so just want to make sure your edges are painted pretty good where where are your family where are they linda I'm not a big fan of snow. I don't I don't do well in snow. I'm pretty much housebound cuz I won't drive in the snow.
But you don't want me to drive in the snow. I'm a danger. I'm a danger to you. So I hang my keys up and uh, don't go anywhere. I'm not going to paint the second frame. I'll do that on my own time. And I probably should have had these painted as well, but we can chat and watch paint dry. That works for me. And I'm not going to do the back because it's going to get glued on so it won't even be seen. So there's our frames painted too. Let me go dump my paintbrush into a bucket of water. <laughs> oh no, I really put you on the spot. I'm sorry, Linda. <laughs> now you'll have to find out. Now you'll have to kind of like call and say, hey, I have this lady that lives in Washington and she wanted to know where you're at. Clean up my mess, put my mat away, and then we'll get rolling on the book. Oh. Got to plug my power cord in for my laptop. I have to bring my laptop into my craft room because the computer that's in here doesn't do well with Ustream. So I use my laptop. Okay. Hey, Mac. Okay. <clears throat> so, that is quick drying paint. The book is dry. It's all dry in here. A couple little spots, but no biggie. Okay, guys, hang on a second. My computer is yelling at me. There we go. <laughs> you know, Jim Maria, I haven't really had any problem with you stream lately. I knock on wood or my head, whichever works. But I really haven't had too much of a problem with that. Okay, so we're all painted. And let's figure out what we want to do on the front cover, because I think I'm going to do those first. I usually typically wait until the last, but I am thinking that I am going to get it done first. So I kind of looked through the papers, and these are the ones we have. And this was one that I thought would look really pretty on the front. And then we have the sailboats. Let me zoom in a little bit now so you can see the papers. If you guys see one you like better. This one has sailboats on it. 
And this is the, just the copy of the one that I was going to use. And then these are our wood, or word ones. I suppose I could look at the back too. And this has some great seashells, but I think they would get hidden. Um, with our frame. And that's the back. This has the big thing on it. I think this one is one that we'll probably end up using um, the back of. Or maybe just a little piece of it. I don't know. We might be able to use it. Ooh, this one's kind of pretty too. It's running the opposite way. I really like that one too. Okay, so we'll set that one aside. And we'll decide between the two. And this has some sailboats and stuff on the back. That one would be kind of pretty. Hi, Bunny. These are such beautiful papers. And this one's kind of pretty too. Well, I like that one with the bird on it as well. Let's set that one aside because that's a contender too. Okay, so I got three to choose from. This is Blue Fern Studios, and it's um, Seaside Cottage. And you can find everything that I'm using right there. So, okay, let's decide. Okay, Battleground. That's north of us. That's toward Portland. Richland's over in eastern Washington. Um, at the corner of eastern Washington and Oregon. So. Alright. So we've got the one with the bird. That we could put the bird down in the corner. And then put our frame on. Except I think, well, our frame could go over. And we'd see the bird just a little bit looking over the frame. So that's kind of what that would look like. Then we have this one that we could kind of turn sideways and put that on there. And it really would look pretty too, especially with this color frame. And then we've got this one that had the flowers and the seashells. And it would just kind of frame that in. What do you think? Let's call this one, two, and three. <laughs> oh, no. You like this one, June Marie? One? I think I like that one the best, too. Go with number one. All right. I do like this one, too. Oh, you like two, Carrie? This one? We've got one, one, and one, two. Somebody break the tie. Okay. Bunny, you broke the tie. We're going with one. What? Bunny? Okay. We're going with one. <laughs> so, 
So I'm just going to cut the strip off. <laughs> oh, bunny, bunny, bunny. What am I going to do with you? So let's go ahead and measure this. I want to leave a little bit of a border. So it's six. So we're going to go eight and a half. Let's try eight and a half by five and three quarters to begin with. Then if we have to... <laughs> I do love you. So, five and three quarters, and I want to make sure that I've got the side that we want to use. Bunny, were you a troublemaker in school? So, what I say the length was. Eight and a half. Ooh, that leaves us that nice piece of flag there on the top of that. Ooh, I like it. Never said boo in school. You're a late bloomer, huh, Bunny? Decided to start causing problems late in life, did you? And I want an ink. Let me find my vintage photo. And I'll need to get a new foam. Okay, so I'm going to use the vintage photo. I might need to put some re-inker on it. Because as you know, this is the one that I use the most. Bunny, I don't think you have a mean bone in your body. She likes it in the corner, though, because she knows that that's where the drinks and snacks are. Huh. I don't think the re-inkers um, go into the um, small ink pads as well as they do the big ones. They do eventually soak in, but it takes a little while. So, just remember that when you're re-inking them, they're going to be juicy. Okay, I like how that's going to look. Do you guys ever um, make Chex Mix anymore? I was at the store the other day and thought, what would be a good cold snack that we could have while our power's out? 
So I decided to make some Chex Mix. So you guys know that I like using the Pioneer glue stick to glue my paper to chipboard. So that's what I'm using is my Pioneer glue stick. Just going to center this on here. Get my brayer out. Oh, Bunny, I've never made peanut butter Chex Mix. Uh-oh. You might have to send me that recipe because I'm a huge peanut butter fan. Okay, so I think we're going to use this paper and just go right around the corner. Let's see. I think I'm going to oh, I'm going to take my back off of it first. I'm going to take the back off of it. I think that's a good idea. Puppy chow, I think, or the dog food. Puppy Puppy chow is the dog food. So we went with five and three quarters. Let me just double check that and make sure. Yep, five and three quarters by eight and a half. Thanks, Bunny. top to be up here. I think I know what you're talking about, Bunny. Um, oh, I like that one on the back, too. We'll have to put a quote or something on the back. One of the nice pictures. So once again, we'll get the glue stick out. Then I'll have to find a piece that I can cut some edges off for the sides of it. So I got all kinds of stuff to put, I got bugles and two different kinds of checks and I got some Cheerios and then I got the, um, what are those little orange square crackers? Um, what are they? They're the cheddar cheese flavored ones. And I put those in, and then I got a big can of um, nuts. I don't think I'm going to be able to open this one up, so I'm just going to kind of support it with my hand. Okay, so cheese it. Okay, 
So we've got our front. And our back. No, Benny, we, we aren't getting any more storms. <laughs> we didn't even get the first one. It went right on by or dissipated or whatever it does. It vanished into thin air. And did not come to fruition. Oh, you know, here, I think I found the one that I want to use on the, the sides. This one has, can you see those? I think I'm going to use those on the sides. Uh, maybe I need a darker one. Ooh, I could have the bird looking at the side. Shall we use the bird? Could use the bird on that side because that would make a good spine, wouldn't it? I think I'm going to do that. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. We're going to cut the bird out. Bird's going on the spine. So, it needs to be... I think I need new glasses. I think we're going to go with about two, let's see, two, two and three quarters. And then we can always cut it down if it's too big. Okay, so how many of you have seen that, um, commercial for Geico that has iced tea, the actor, iced tea in it. Anybody? Anybody seen that commercial? Where they've got the lemonade stand up and Everybody's coming over and asking, iced tea? And the guy's saying, no, lemonade. Lemonade. Can't you read the sign? Lemonade. So, when the TV's on, I'm usually busy doing busy work. I usually will take something out to work on and uh, don't pay much attention to watching commercials. If there's a show on that I want to watch or something, I'll kind of watch and then go back to it. Well, you know the actor Ice T. Um, he's sitting in a chair and I couldn't figure out what? You know, this is a stupid commercial. Geico, you really missed the boat. It's a lemonade. Lemonade stand. Why are they saying iced tea? And then it finally dawned on me after hearing it for about 150 times that they were asking if he was iced tea, not if they were selling iced tea. It was pretty stupid. It took me a long time to realize it. So now every time I hear that commercial, I just have to laugh at myself because I just didn't really catch the the drift of it and really thought that Geico had fallen off their rocker when they made that commercial. My husband laughs at me every time we see it. He says, here's your commercial, honey. Oh, didn't that turn out beautiful? Look at that. Wow. It was like it was made for that. So now we'll just cut a, another piece off for this part. And I've got some really beautiful flowers on the other side of it. So I think that's the one we're going to use for that one. Anyway, it made me feel 
<laughs> really silly. I know, it's perfect. It's like it was made for it. So we went two and three quarters by eight and a half. Oh no, Linda. Do you have oxygen tanks? Okay, oh, and this one looks really good there, too. Wow. Okay. It's nice to have backups. So I'm just looking so that I can kind of make sure that I'm lined up with the papers that are on the front or at least one side so it'll look cohesive when it goes around the corner. We keep a good stock of the oxygen tanks for mom. Cause she uses those when she goes out anywhere. We tried a um, portable or a, a battery operated one that's supposed to make its own oxygen and last for hours. Okay, so there's this side. But it was too heavy for her to carry, so the, the oxygen tanks and we got her a... Um, a regulator for the top of them so that it makes them last longer or a pulsator to where it only gives her oxygen when she breathes in. Okay, so now let's figure out what we're going to put on the inside of our frame and where we want our frame to be. So, when we're looking at this, I think I like it down here. So let's figure out, we want a piece of paper. Oh, I don't like that one. And that one goes the wrong way. Figure out what we want on the inside. So we use that one. I think I want just something that's got some color to it, but not really much of a design.
because then we're going to try and find one of our little sayings to put on the inside and then decorate around it. I have some... <laughs> it's not you, it's your computer, Linda. Must have gotten wet with your water bottle leak. So I want it to fit on the inside of this. So I'm thinking five... Three by five. And I think I'll take it from the top corner of this one. Add a little bit of blue in there. So I want it three. I'm going to make it a little skosh over three. And by five. Okay, let's do a dry fit. it in there now I can't get it out oh need to just trim a skosh off of it So you want to measure yours and uh, make sure what fits. Okay, that goes right down in there. So let's get it out. Always make sure my liquid has a lid on it. <coughs> so once again, we're going to grab our glue stick. Because yes, I like glue stick to paper to wood too. It holds pretty good. The key to it is just to make sure you get your edges really well. We're just going to line it up, make sure. And the nice thing, too, about the glue stick is it gives you a little bit of time to move things around. And make sure you've got it lined up the way you want it before you press it down. Well, I can't find my... That's the second time I've gone to look for it and couldn't find it. my brayer won't fit in there. I'm using my square bone folder. So that'll give it some dimension there. Do we want to put paper on the outside of the 
frame. Just maybe some little strips. I think I do. Yes, 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 I do. So these, I think we're just going to go with a half inch. By five and three quarters. I need two of those. Five and three quarters. So, you guys been doing anything fun? How was your Thanksgiving, June Marie? Do you guys do traditional turkey and potatoes and all that like we do? So I think with this one, I am going to use going to use my one inch. And I'll trim around it. Oh, that sounds nice, Bunny. A mesh wreath. So we're just going to trim the edges of this tape off. Turkey leftovers are the best. I uh, typically don't eat white bread. But when it comes to a turkey sandwich, for some reason, I have to have it on white bread. This year, I think I'm going to do Thanksgiving at my house, which is unusual. Because usually we have it at mom's house. But she's getting to the point where it's just too much to have that many people over to her house. So she has encouraged most everyone to 
make their own plans. And so I told her that we would have Thanksgiving at my house and just have her and my brother and his wife over this year. I think that's a little too wide, so I'm going to trim it down just a hair. And go. Oh, I made it bigger than a half inch anyway. Take it down to the half inch. Yes. And I don't I don't do dressing. I'm not much a big one on dressing. But the cranberries, oh yeah. So. So we've got another month before Thanksgiving. Okay, let's make sure that these are going to go okay. Yep. Peel this off. Just eyeballing it to make sure it looks centered, top and bottom, side to side. Ulterior motive before... Huh, June Marie? Oh, I'll have... Thanksgiving. I love turkey leftovers. And you know, it's just not the same if you cook a turkey any other time but Thanksgiving. For some reason, it's just not the same. Why is that? Okay, so we know that's a half inch, and we're just going to make it shy of four inches, so maybe three and three quarters. I'm going to use this side because this has got a nice little... Um, picture up at the top that we're going to be able to use on the inside of one of our so a half inch by three and three quarters. Before I cut that one, let me just check and make sure it's going to be a good length. Yep, I like it. You cook a turkey on Easter?
That's why I like all of those um, new, like, glad bowls and things like that that they have at the store that are really inexpensive. I keep those on hand because typically when anyone comes over for dinner, you send them home with leftovers. And then you don't have to worry about getting the bowl back. How deep? Um, they're a little over a half inch deep, I think. All the way to the bottom. They're a little less than three quarters of an inch deep. We're right about three quarters of an inch deep. You guys want to see the coffee one that I did making that I made using these? I can run and get it. I used the um, these three shadow boxes or the trays as Prima named them. That was the outside. That was the outside. So about three quarters of an inch on the outside. Okay. Let me get these on and then I will run and get it because that's my, I think that's my favorite thing in the whole world that I've ever made. And it was really funny because I had this vision in my mind of what I wanted to make. And, you know, I thought, oh, I need little coffee cups. And I didn't have any. And so I thought, well, I'll run to the thrift store and see what I can find. And so I went and they had a ton of little coffee cups or, I don't know, maybe you call them key, um, Um, teacups or, or whatever, but, um, they just had a lot to choose from. So I bought like seven or eight different little coffee cups. Not, sh not sure, you know, really not sure what I wanted to use, you know, and what would fit with the way I was doing it and stuff. And so I, my daughter-in-law fell in love with it and luckily I'd gotten enough. Now how come I didn't? Huh, you know why? Because I grabbed the wrong one. I threw the one that I'd cut over there. And so I had enough for her but to this day, when I go to a thrift store, I've never been able to find those coffee cups. Okay, now I think I have the right two. So 
So once again, just center on it from edge to edge and side to side. I'm not going to do the top because I think we'll find some flowers and and some things to put on the top of the frame. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to hot melt glue this on. So let me plug in my glue gun. And while that's heating up, I'll run in and get my my coffee thing that I made. Hang on, I will be right back. Okay, so this is the coffee one that I made using these Prima trays. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay. So they had the, Prima had their coffee paper, I forget what it's called, um, that they had. And I had one of their little sheets. So I t had taken and I painted all three of them. And then um, I had a, I have a coffee stain stamp. So I just kind of took it afterwards and put like red and brown coffee stains on after I painted it and then um, then I just started grabbing stuff out of my stash that I had and a lot of prima gitchy goos and then I took um, real coffee beans this needs to be dusted and uh, added coffee beans and um, just a little sign that it says enjoy the little things and then some of the little tiny prima flowers and then I had a little wooden um, vase that I added in there um, to hold the flowers and this is the, one of the little it's just a little coffee cup that I found at the uh, thrift store. Oh, it really needs to be dusted. Now you guys know what shape my house is in. And then another little, I think this is just a little espresso cup. And so then I just started adding little things to it till I was happy with it. And uh, there it is. So I thought about giving it away. Oh, and Barry had sent me this. Um, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little ladybug on the top of that. Because she always calls me ladybug. And she had sent that to me um, quite a long time ago. And it was just sitting around. So I thought, well, I'll just add that to it. So anyway, there's my coffee one. And these are just done with the three trays and they're glued together on top of one another and then just start adding. I know, I mean, how many guys have 
drawers and drawers full of flowers and trinkets and little gitchy goos and doodads. Yeah, I challenge you to make something like this. It's not hard. If I can do it, you can do it. Because I am not at all a mixed media girl. I'm more, you know, everything has to have, you know, three to it and equal portions and all that. So let me go put it back and I'll be right back. So anyway, that was my little show and tell for today. Oh, well, we're heating this up too. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the little mitten box that I had done. I did a little video with it. And so this is the little mitten box that I had done with the smitten mitten dye, which are back in stock now. They sold out really fast, but I love it. And then on our Facebook page, Margaret Halderson put up a new challenge, and it's a Starburst card with a tutorial. So this morning I decided to get up and see if I couldn't make one. So it's really easy, and all it takes is like a 6x6 six six piece of paper. I use one 6x6 six six piece of paper, and one piece of actually two six by sixes one for the back and one for the front and then an eight and a half by piece, 11 so been trying to get back into my craft room because i have really neglected it over the summer while we were doing our building um And stuff I just couldn't you know at the end of a long day after you cut a thousand pieces of wood and sanded and stained and stained and sanded and sanded and stained oh look to Marie there's a mermaid on here should we put that in the center of it or should I put you are my sunshine or the little sailor. Which one? Mermaid, you are my sunshine, or the sailor? So I think we got this heated up. I want to make sure it's really hot because you're, the hotter your glue is when you go to glue something down. The mermaid. I knew you'd say that, Jane Marie. Oh, we have two mermaids. Can I get a third mermaid? Okay, so just looking at this, I think I like the placement of this right there. What do you guys think? Because then we can add some stuff around the edges of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue it down. What I wanted to do, though, I'm going to grab my pencil. And I just want to mark on the front of it. Where I want it to go. You're not going to see it once I glue it down. Okay, Linda. So, 
So we're going to take and you want to move really kind of fast with your glue gun. Make sure you get it not too close to the edge. I think I'm going to have to move it back a little some here. Might squoosh out. Another good thing you can use your Teflon tool, tool for is to get some of that off because it'll peel right off of that Teflon tool. Because I really don't want it squishing out the sides. Okay. All right. And see that it'll just peel right off of that Teflon tool. It doesn't stick at all. It's amazing what these things can be used for. All right. So there we have that. Unplug my gun. So now we're going to cut out our mermaid. So I suppose you want me to send this to you too, June Marie, since there's a mermaid on it. So let's get some more little embellishments out and see what all we want to put around her to see where we want to place her. I've got kind of a shadow going. It looks like there's, you can see when I lift it like that, there is no shadow. So there's no line there when I place it there. It's just the shadow from the light. So when you're looking at it, don't think that there's a light there. <laughs> well, now that I mention it, so, I pulled a few things. Got some of these Prima butterflies. That we can add in. And some flowers. You know what? I think I'm going to look in my stash and see what I have in there, too. You know, I do have some seashells. Hang on. Let me go grab some. I've got some teeny tiny ones. Okay, I've just a little jar of them. So let's see. Got all kinds of shapes and colors in here.
So if any of you are going to make this album and you need some seashells when you order, just put a little note that says seashells on there and I will grab you a handful of these. And throw them in with your order. Because I think I have enough to share. And I don't think you need too many of them. Just a little handful of them. Don't want to overdo them. What do you think about that? Then maybe Think I need more? Think that'll do? I think that's enough. And then What if we were just to pop that that says by the sea up on some chipboard and put it right up at the top? You think that would just, I think that would be simple enough. Do you like the butterfly on it? I think I like the butterfly down inside better than I liked it up top. I think it just balances that out more. So, okay, I think that's the way we're going to do it. <clears throat> and I think with the butterfly, I'm just going to bend it some, give it a little more dimension, and then we'll use some glossy accents on this. Okay, let's go ahead and get this down. Then I think once we get these down, I'm going to call it good so that I can get ready and um, go to the vet when Dan gets here to take Sam in. I'm really worried about him. Poor baby isn't feeling good at all. He never turns down a treat. Never. I mean, he lives for treats. Hi, Gwen. How are ya? I am thinking I might need some more glossy accents. See if I can get it to come out here. How are you, Glenn? Okay. So let's put this one. Right there in the corner. I'll have to might have to come back and use some. <clears throat> I am making an album. We got in some a uh, album from Prima. 
the Frank Garcia album. It's called The Dossier. Is that how you say it? D-O-S-S-I-E-R? And so we're making a By the Sea. I'm going to dump that one right on top and see if it'll stick. Just going to put our little butterfly there. Then I might find something, whether it just be some, maybe something that looks like sand or something to put up there. So like I said, if anybody needs shells, just holler at me. I have a few. I should probably make up little bags of them and just um, put them in the store. Okay, so we have our little shells down there. Grab a little piece of chipboard here. I keep all my little scraps of chipboard from where I cut things out. Because Gwen's got me hooked on popping things like this up on chipboard. I'll show you. Well, I can't really open it right now because I've got wet stuff on it. So, but if you look at the inside of it, it's got a lot of room on the inside and it's got chipboard pages in here. So, yeah, you got me hooked on it, Gwen. Does she have any of you guys hooked on doing that too? <laughs> sure makes me go through blades for my craft knife fast.
I think I'm going to put it on, uh, I think that's good. What do you think? It's really kind of just a simple cover for this, but I think it's perfect. I don't think it needs much more than that. What do you think? Make sure it's level when I do that. It does make them stand out. Okay, so I'm going to use my quick dry. I'd left the caps off of them so they had to get their hot water bath this morning so to clean the tips out on my Okay, so there we have our cover. And I think I can open it up now. I think those are dry enough, so I'll show what the inside looks like for those who weren't here at the beginning. So you just flip it over, open, and when you open it up, it has the chipboard pages in there. Oh, lost one. They weren't quite dry enough. So I'll have to glue that back in. So that's what we have for today. I'm going to go ahead and call that good for today and then I will be back in two weeks Gwen will be on next week and she is on at 10 a.m. Pacific time And are you starting a new project this week, Gwen, next week? Or are you still working on that mini book that you were doing? Yes. Yes. I asked two questions. Yes. You're still working on your mini book or starting a new project? Might add another. Nah, I don't think we're going to add anything else to it. I think I'm going to leave good enough alone. Just simple. Okay, so she is still working on the mini book that she has been doing for the last two weeks, and she will finish it up next week on her show. And that's Crafty Lady Designs on Ustream. And you can find everything we use today at scrapadabadoo.com. I figured I'd make a sign because it was easier than spelling it out each time. It's quite long. So you guys have a good day. Keep my Sammy boy in your prayers that nothing seriously is going on with him. Um, I will let you know what we find out. And until next time, thanks for tuning in. It's been fun.